whoever you want to, whoever you think is will suit the character. Yes. So what do you guys think is the greatest challenge for, you know, guys like us on the up and come out in LA? Because, you know, LA, you know, like you said, you know, you can't throw a stick across the lawn without hitting the director or, <laughs> yes. or hitting the model or hitting the actress. <laughs> I think so, you just have to have willpower and uh, uh, persistence. I mean, you kind of have to trust that what you're doing is uh, that your talent lines up with it. That you that you have the talent along with the ambition and you know the perseverance to keep trying to get it out there. Be truthful to yourself and don't don't try to market yourself as something you're not. Or yeah. Mm -hmm. Just kind of stick to what you're yeah. doing and hopefully. Um, so many people yeah. out in out here has done that. Tried to market themselves that trying to market themselves in a different way, knowing that they don't have talent. Say like if you're an actor and you're trying to be a singer, knowing that you can't sing to save your life. Same like if someone's a singer trying to be an actor and can't act their way out of a box. It's all about marketing yourself, finding that solution of what, where you want to go, where is your talent at. And it comes from, I believe, the beginning when you were a kid, you know, what you want to do throughout your life whatever career you choose to um, pursue. But um, marketing, you have to find your niche into marketing and you have to know where you want to go. Because if you get lost out here, people will eat you up. But I, I don't think there's anything wrong with trying to be a, I guess, a double or triple track. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you can do it. You have the talent. Yeah. 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 You're an actor and you can rap or you can sing. Or, I mean, yes. I don't yes. see any reason. Oh, well, you're exactly. I, mean, I, am, I am four. Instead of taking a piece of the pie, I am for taking the whole pie. Yeah. Pie. I mean, if you can do it, do everything. You know, it's that. not like the same thing with filmmakers. You know, people, you know, always tell people, focus on directing, focus on cinematography, focus on this. Why not do it all? Yes. I, it's easier for me because I, I shoot my own projects, I direct it, I produce it, and I also edit it. And I'm able to, um, you know, put my thing out there quicker than I would if I would have maybe contracted it to like an editor and stuff like that. So, yeah. I mean, if you have to, I mean, you have to learn everything in this industry. That's true. You know, you just can't, um, well, It's you like know, for musicians too. Like these days, as a musician, I have to find, I, I can't play an instrument, at least not very well. Mm -hmm. I play guitar a little bit, but I don't really like to accompany myself. But it's better to be a one woman, one man show, really. Because you have to find people, and then people don't show up. Yeah, especially, yeah. especially yeah. if you're not paying. Yeah. Especially okay. if you're not paying. Okay, well, I didn't think you were going to show up to okay? <laughs> <laughs> Is that how I, was, <laughs> I was panicking. I didn't even know she was down there. I'm not paying her, okay? So. <laughs> no, it's, it's hard. And then the challenges that you face as a musician, when you have to like perform at like 12.35 on a weeknight. I'm talking about 12.35. Is that air? Air, yeah, yeah like wow. at a bar. Yeah, so it's just hard. So, I mean, your friends are not going to come out and see you at that time when you have to work the next day. Yeah. It's just yeah. hard. It's just really it's hard. Struggle. Yeah, it's a struggle. It's... It's fine. <laughs> cool. As far as marketing yourself, mm -hmm. okay, we talk about you're a singer, mm -hmm. you're a songwriter too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. How are you putting yourself out there? Are you just are you just um depending on MySpace? Well, to, I, I mean, mean it's my uh, okay. Go well, ahead. I go, I do gigs around town. It's really hard because there are so many singers. Sometimes you just think I have to come up with a different idea. Honestly, sometimes you have to be creative because. I don't know if that's gonna work anymore. Just it's just too, it's just too it's many. Too many it's people. Too many. It's a yes. lot of people. So to get recognized, it's hard. But I mean, it helps because it gives you the experience, definitely. Mm -hmm. So I'd say keep performing, don't stop. But like, I'm gonna be performing in Canada. I also sing with a group that's called Toby Foyer and Orchestra Africa. They're based in DC, but I perform with them, especially when they do international gigs. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be touring Canada next month. Well, actually, no, June. We're in June, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're gonna be going to a. Uh, Calgary, Drift Pile, Toronto, Vancouver. Are you getting paid? Oh, yeah! Oh, oh yeah! I'm getting paid! Stop. It's tough! You're paying for everything! <laughs> <laughs> it's tough well, to get paid! Well, these things get, they come by once in a blue moon, you know? But hey, yeah, I'm getting paid. Like oh, yeah. That's, that's one of the reasons I like the, uh, the businesses. If you can get in with the travel and go and see the world. I was in Alaska exactly. last year. Exactly! Mm -hmm. I went to Japan two years ago with them, wow. so I would probably never have been to Japan. Mm. So it was wow, awesome. that's yeah. We're opening for Salif Keita, the Malian singer. Oh, so okay. in Toronto, yeah. So, wow. Oh, this, so this that's some perks. Yeah, they yeah. come. They're few and far between yeah. when they come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure Canada in the summertime is pretty nice. I know. I'm sure it's 